Hello everyone, it is I, Jeffrey Day from State Fire, and today we'll be doing a top 10 list over my favorite Pokemon. Uh, but first, I would like to thank Lovable Hatsumiku for doing all the edits for this video. Lovable Hatsumiku is a very talented YouTuber, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys and gals subscribe to her. Starting off at number 10, we have Litten. Litten was the starter Pokemon I chose for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and so far, this little guy has not let me down. Lin is not only adorable, but can be extremely strong with the proper training and right moveset. Okay, and at number 9 we have Lugia. Lugia has been my third favorite legendary Pokemon ever since I saw Pokemon 2000. Lugia's ability to use pressure can allow you to turn a long battle into a short battle easily. At number 8 we have Unknown. The Unknown have always grabbed my interest, and I will always consider them a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. I tried to collect them all, but I'm still missing a few letters. <laughs> and at number 7, we have Togepi. Besides also being extremely adorable, Togepi can definitely pack a punch if equipped with the right moves and even know how to properly use Metronome. At number 6, we have Pichu. Now, I fell in love with Pichu after seeing the Pichu Brothers. Pichu is my favorite Pokemon for going against ground-type Pokemon as it can deal two times damage to any ground-type Pokemon. And at number 5 we have Eevee now. One of the reasons I include Eevee is because my best friend loves Eevee. I know he would hate me if I did not include Eevee in this list, but Eevee has always fascinated me on um, many different types and forms it could take. And every region always had a new version of Eevee and an Eevee evolution, so the first Eevee I ever caught was in Pokemon Yellow and I did involve it into a Vaporeon because the only stone I could find at the time was a Water Stone. And coming in at number 4 we have Jigglypuff. Now Jigglypuff has owned its way into number 4 for its unique characteristics. Now that is both for the game and for the game Pokemon Snap and the anime Jigglypuff from the very first season. So whether in the video game or in the anime, Jigglypuff's personality has always made me laugh. I also love Jigglypuff from the original anime as it has made me laugh with the drawings and the pouty cute adorable face. Jigglypuff will always be an adorable Pokemon no matter which way you look at it. It has no serious face. Coming in at number 3 is my main man Skeptile. Skeptile was the first Pokemon I ever leveled up to level 100 and that was in Pokemon Emerald. It was also my starter Pokemon and brought me many victories against the Elite Four and helped me win countless battles in the Battle Frontier. Skeptile is still my number one Pokemon to go to, and every single game I've always transferred over that same Skeptile, so he's been with me for a very long time and continues to prove his loyalty and worthiness. Coming in at number two, we have Pikachu. So yeah, that, that's kind of no shocker there. I do love Pikachu. He's my second favorite Pokemon due to its high stamina and its electric attacks. Also, it's just hilarious seeing it shock the living hell out of Ash and Professor Oak. Yeah, very first episode. Just downright hilarious. And coming in at number one, for those who know me, you already know what my number one Pokemon is. But for those who don't, it's Mew. Mew is without doubt my favorite Pokemon. Mew's psychic attacks, as well as its metronome, can make a quick turn in any battle, and it always has. When I come down to Mew and have to draw him out out of uh, hesitation, or he's my last, it's or it's my last Pokemon, I never lose with it. It's my one card, one uh, wild card, I guess you could say. And also, it's just so dang cute. I mean, it's, it's Mew. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video again, shout out to lovable Hatsumiku for doing the edits of this video and I hope you guys please subscribe to both of our channels. And as always, have a nice day, live, love, and game on. Peace.